Novak Djokovic versus Carlos Alcaraz is the first semi-final of the ATP Finals for 2023. And both guys have battled to get to the semi-final stage. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number two seed and took on Alexander Zverev in his first match. And after winning the first set, would actually go down in three, seven, six, three, six, four, six. In his second match, he'd take on Rublev, who'd also come off a loss in his first match. This is no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights. Seven, five, six, two. In his final match, he'd take on the number three seed, Medvedev, who he'd lost to at the US Open a couple of months earlier. And this was a must win match for Alcaraz and he was able to get it in straight sets 6-4, 6-4 to advance to the semi-finals. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Runa in the first match and after splitting the first two sets he would get through in three 7-6, 6-7, 6-3. In his second match he'd take on Sinner, a man that he'd never lost to before but after splitting the first two sets this time Sinner would get Djokovic 5-7, 7-6, 6-7. In his final match Djokovic would take on Hercatch, who would come in for the injured City pass to play the final match. And with Djokovic's semi-finals on the line, he had to get the win, and he did in three sets. 7-6, 4-6, 6-1 to advance to the semi-finals. These two have played four times before with the head-to-head -head split down the middle 2-2, two -two, including two of the best matches of the season. Their previous match being Cincinnati, where Djokovic got the win, and of course, that Wimbledon final, where Alcaraz got the win in the five-set epic. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to serve well. He served super well against Medvedev, also brought that variety, came to the net, used the drop shots, and it's interesting because he's starting to learn how to play on the indoor courts with every single match. So he's going to need everything that he learned in this match if he's going to get the win. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to serve well. He needs all the free points that he can get because he needs to conserve that energy a little bit. He's been playing long matches. In fact, he's played three set matches every single match this week. So he needs to get that off to a good start and also serve well to keep that energy. Also, he probably needs to be a little bit more aggressive than he usually is. What a great matchup. These guys only play great matches. They've played four times. They've all been epic. But I think this time, it's going to be Novak Djokovic getting the win again. I think he's going to get this one in maybe a close straight sets. Maybe three sets. We'll go with the close straight sets. But I think Djokovic will make the final. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to make the final?